Next up, we're going to um, take out these pistons. Um, anything you take out, mark it up, put it back in the same way it came out. These little marks here will show us how to reassemble everything. And it also leaves like a little trail that anybody else who looks in here will think somebody else has been inside and had a bit of a look. So, um, sort of decided this is, we're not going much further with this engine. It's about the worst engine to ever show you what to rebuild because nothing needs rebuilding in this. In, in here, we're just changing the rings basically because a bit of a wear part we've got it open but uh, these there's a series of tests you can do on the rings but i might look at them a little bit later uh, i'm gonna tell you that they're going to be okay but we might just check them you can sort of check those wee gaps there and you put feeler gauges down the side here and check out how much space there is but <laughs> We'll change them as a matter of course, but I'm not going to um, change the big end bearings. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, when I, I know there's nothing wrong with them. When, I, when I've opened this one, we, we want to look in here for discoloration where there's wear on uneven ends and, and the, the wear on one side when they come against the compression stroke or the, the uh, crankshaft journal bearings will wear all round. I'm not going to take them off because I know that if I'm taking the crank out, I'm going to have to do this here and rope seal at the back, which I don't want to do. I've got a bit of a bad track record with them. So seeing as I, I will check everything, but I, I'll, I'll tell you there's nothing wrong with it before we start. So, um, yeah, so it's just a point to make. You know. It is a front on the curved con connecting rod, but we'll put a nice little four here, three, two, one, and so on and so forth. Um, mark everything take it out we might put it through the parts washer um Right, back over to the engine block. Um, here's our pistons. So we want to just move those rings. You may notice this has been done extraordinarily, careful, extraordinarily carefully because there's a good chance to be going back in or something else or get to spares. Now, come in this handy little bag marked up. Number four, lower. Number one, upper. So we just rebuild as reverse as we move up. I want to just take a wee look at these, just to make sure some of them say top on them. It's important. Obviously, if it says top on them, it needs to go up near the top. If it doesn't, 
Okay, we don't need to roll the lids up. short lines here, the, uh, the gaps are supposed to be at 120 degrees to each other, so obviously 90 degrees, 180, so it's like about there. Now when we put this in, it's got front written on there, there's our markings that we put in. That wind nodger goes to the front, so you know, check that I always clear there. A good bit of lubrication, top and bottom. Tighten that down to the preliminary torque setting. Then we'll rotate it, make sure it's right, and then the secondary torque setting. Right, one in, three more to go.